Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Let's get right into the video starting with Lego Darth Vader Studios and he says, ASA, how did you come up with the name ASA? Or rather, how did you come up with the title ASA? So back when I wanted to create this series, my Q&A series if you will, I was like, well I don't want to just call it Q&A series or Ask Sky. So I thought, you know, what would, what would be cool? And I was just trying to think of a few names and then I came across something, I think it was on Reddit, called like an AMA, and that stood for Ask Me Anything. And I was like, hey, that's brilliant, but I changed it to be instead of Ask Me Anything, Ask Sky Anything. Thus, we have ASA. So, yeah. The next question is from the Lego Man, and he says, ASA, what is your favorite Lego minifigure in general? So, honestly, this question is just way too hard for me to answer because there's literally just too many minifigures out there, and especially if you're counting like other themes other than just Star Wars so I don't think I can answer that question so from now on when I get that question I'm just gonna respond with uh, I don't know However, this next one is slightly easier to answer because it narrows it down. So it's from Stop Motion Brick One, and he says, "ASA, what's your favorite Lego Clone Trooper minifigure?" So I can answer this one because that narrows it down quite significantly. And to answer your question, is the Bark Trooper that has always been my favorite Clone Trooper in Star Wars, and so in Lego form, I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm not a huge fan of the one arm being white. I wish they were both that red color, but I. Do do think that that is just such a beautiful clone the helmet design is amazing and i would love to see lego either redesign or bring back the bark trooper in another set i think that would be super cool next question is from yndy bricks and he says are you going to be watching the ucs gunship reveal live tomorrow well for starters it's not live tomorrow anymore because i was like two weeks ago but also i totally forgot and honestly don't care i just i woke up and i was like i went on instagram and it was like look at this beautiful set that was revealed even though it was like leaked earlier like that like the day before and it was like oh yeah i forgot about the live oh well you know just like that so next question is from dark Cybricks and he says asa what do you think of the new republic gunship I, I, i'm gonna ignore the leak part because it's been revealed now and do you plan on buying it all right so in terms of a build oh my goodness is it absolutely beautiful like it's it's pretty huge it comes with over 3,000 pieces but the price is $350 so gosh that's a lot of money for one set you know I really like the scale of it I'm not a huge fan of the minifigures but I don't think a set like that needs a lot of minifigures so I don't really care in that aspect at all like even if it had a phase 2 Cody I wouldn't care like the bill looks amazing however I will say it looks like it has like 8,000 thousand stickers and I hate stickers so that's kind of gross I mean maybe some of those are printed pieces I would hope so like on the windshields and like the bubble cannons or whatever they're called like on the ends of the wings hopefully those aren't stickers because oh my goodness that'd be annoying it's it's a really gorgeous and beautiful build and I would love to buy it but I just I don't have anywhere to put it for starters and I don't think I would have enough money to get just one set you know sir we are showing a balance of zero dollars and zero cents for both of your accounts Oh. Next. Next question is from Taco Builds, and he says, ASA, what did you think about Black Widow? Eh, uh, it was I. I'm sorry? I said I. In terms of a movie, it was a decent movie. It was it was pretty cool. It's just compared to some of the other Marvel movies like Guardians of the Galaxy or Thor Ragnarok or something it, or Black Panther. It's just like it wasn't amazing when you leave the theater or Disney Plus, which that's where I watched it from Disney Plus. It's like what was the point? Like you feel not empty, but like okay, why did I watch that? Like it just didn't seem too engaging to me. Like I wasn't happy when it ended. Like I don't know if you get what I'm saying. It just wasn't isn't that impressive to me I guess is what I'm trying to say so like it was a good movie it's just I didn't care for it too much you know and our very last question of the day is from EK Starlord and he said did you hear that Matt Lantern the voice actor of Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars is returning to Star Wars in new animation I did not hear about that and if what you tell me is true then that would be very epic but so that's gonna do it for today's episode of ASA so thank you all very much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you I don't know what I'm doing with my voice uh, I just started doing that. It was weird. Um, so thank you all for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And of course, subscribe if you're not already. And of course, of course, so lots of of courses today. Uh, make sure you leave a question or two for the next episode of ASA. And I will pin my favorite to the top. But until next time, have a wonderful day.